Good afternoon, uh, welcome to another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different, it's not actually a fishing one, but I've got a couple of trips coming up. I've got another Simba trip in Croatia and France. So I thought what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give my reels. I've got some Dow Crosscast 550s, um, I've got four of these. But what I'm gonna do, is sounding a bit like right, grit and everything else in them. So I think I'm gonna give them a, Bit of spruce up, bit of a clean up. I'm gonna take them apart. Uh, I've been to my local tote shop and I've got some real oil and some real grease. I've already done one, so I thought I'd do a little video just show what I'm doing, um, what I've been invited to do, what bits of oil, what bits of grease. I've seen some people like take them apart, fill it with grease, and apparently it's the wrong way to do it. It just clogs it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it apart bit by bit. Um, oil out the bits need oil in, grease out the bits, give it a good general clean, need grit, and get them uh, all fresh for the um, next trip. So I've had them for about five, six years now, so I need to give them a bit of a bit of a clean up, really. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so it's not a fishing video, it's more of a just a general video about just down with doing my reels. So I thought I'd video it and put it on my channel to show you guys in case anyone wants to do it. If I'm doing it wrong, you'll let me know. Um, but so I've took advice from tackle shop. This is what they advised me to do. So um, yeah, we'll take it apart. I want to talk all the way through. I'll just give you a quick rough idea of what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, let's get on to it. All right, so what I'm to do, start by taking the uh, spool off. Try to keep everything in the place where I know where all this. Um, and what I'll do, I've got to remove, uh, I'll take, take the handle off first. Again, make sure everything's all kept together so you don't lose it. So unwind it, so the uh, pin's right up. Just so it's further up, give me more room. What I'll do, I'm going to take this all apart now, and then uh, show you what I'm doing. Inside here, you have oh, their little bearings. I'll give them a bit of a clean up. And inside here, it's not too bad actually. You've got your gears there. So, I'm going to put a little bit of grease on here, which is this. I'll just put just a little bit. Not too much. Now well, then I'm going to twist it just for it to sort of work its way. That's it. Let's do it like that. Work its way up and down. That's it. Don't go too mad with the grease. Fine. Let's say with the bearings, give them a bit of a clean, get any grit off them. So obviously, when you've got your work, you know, you're building it out and it's peeing down with rain, you get all the stuff bounced off the floor. And so, I'm just going to then get a little bit of oil, just twist it both sides. See that? And now, yeah. a little twist, pop that back in there. So, there we are. I'm 
underneath here, you've got another set of bearings. Let's get the washers out of the way for a second. Again, a bit of oil. Around the bearings. Moving quite nice and freely. Let's get any, remove any grit. It might be inside. And also on this here, put a bit of grease on that as well, just to Okay, not a lot, just to, enough just for it to And that is back in there, he says. Can be a bit fit of this part. Two washers back on there. Pop that back in there. That's moving quite nice and freely now. It's quite. And now I just sit back into there. So what I'll do now, I'll put all this bit here all back together. Before I do that, on the spindle. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the shaft, not a lot, and just retract it, just so it gets on the joints inside. Do that a couple of times. Yes, yeah, should. Be good. I'm gonna put this bit here, put this on back together, the main compartment, then I'll do the cut bits after. So. Pretty simple, not too bad, not too odd. Sounds a lot, a lot clean, doesn't sound so gritty. It's going a lot easier. But yeah, I mean, what you can do as well with these is get your oil, put a little bit down the grooves in there. This in there. Your bad on just to loosen it up a little bit. Not a lot. Yeah, that sounds good. So yeah, that's it. One down, three more to do. 
there you go guys i thought i'd show you just to um yeah just thought i'd show you how how i do mine um obviously i'm not a professional so if you do think um i'm doing it wrong then please let me know in the comments below but other than that um i went from the advice from the tackle shop to say where i've got the grease and the oil from um it's actually like dour so they tell me what parts and on the packet it does actually tell you um what bits to grease what bits not to grease uh what bits of oil but yeah let me say i've had them a few years now so i thought i'd give them a bit of a clean up so yeah anyway guys um hope you found it helpful and interesting um if not i'm sorry i bored you and i'll see you on the next fishing adventure which should be in croatia in a couple of months so uh, until then guys thanks for watching